take you to finish that. And I said, why? And she said, well, I need to do something about that wall before I get the floor done. And I said, what do you mean about the wall? And she said, well, it's not what I ordered. I'm going to paint over it. And so I put three more layers of varnish very quickly on it. So it's waiting there underneath her paint job for someone to discover, you know, like an old Roman, you know, a mural so it's you know but it was very very painful and I decided at that point I don't think I'll do any more murals because I've had several murals painted over do you still paint for pleasure uh, not quite so much you know I paint my fabrics for pleasure mm. doing wonderful big lilies or roses or something you know it's, it's very very rich and exciting so I, I yes that's very pleasurable it, with, for instance, so the, the packs that, that we have for you, you've got a, a couple of choices of, mm. um, of fat quarters. Let's just yeah. take one at random. Shouldn't really do that, should I? And yeah. open it up. Yeah. How long would it take you to create this? Well, that took about a day to paint out from start to finish. I mean, I was I was I started early in the morning, and I I paint very intensively, and I'm very concentrated. So I would say maybe two days. Two days and, and do you, you know, once you start, you carry on till you finish? Yeah, and that's done in a half drop repeat, which is something you learn to do. Um, and I love doing it. I was looking at old paperweights, glass paperweights. Oh, I can see that now you've mentioned And that's the... Uh, oh, the, yes. The, uh, oh! <laughs> you can see... Oh, I did that deliberately. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well done. That's our, our end papers. Yeah. That's fascinating. Oh, just to mention, if you've just joined us... Okay, that's it. Um, we have his book on the show for you. It's Dreaming in Colour and it's signed. We have a limited amount of stock. Cave has actually sat in the green room for hours signing every single copy of the book that we have for you. But we are approaching limited stock. So if you want to order, if you want to get your hands on a signed K. Fassett autobiography, then please do that as quickly as you can before we sell out. It's 263648. What a great Christmas gift that would make. Buy a couple if you like. It's only one postage. <laughs> um, and again, if you have any questions or comments for Cave, then um, do come through and ask them while he's here because we're running out of time. Um, mm. It's studio, thank you, at createandcraft.tv. So I've had a few more. This is Judy from Ascot who says, Good afternoon, Debbie and Cave. I was lucky enough to attend a quilting workshop shot with Cave and Brandon in Henley quite recently. It was truly, that's that word again, inspirational. Mm. <laughs> Scale, colour, it completely changed my approach to creating in every medium. Love the funky 60s soundtrack too, which brought a pulse <laughs> of energy to the day. So thank you, Cave. Great. Thank you, Judy. That's so nice. You know, we play music all during the workshop, so it's, it's very nice when people like that. Because <laughs> you, you're a radio person, aren't you? Uh, very and you, you much, like to listen to plays much, yeah, and, yeah. and spoken words. Radio 4 is my favourite, yeah. So do, what Absolutely. kind of music do you like? Do you know, I like many different kinds of music. I mean, I, I, I love Desert Island Discs because you get the weirdest you you know, collection. You should be on Desert Island Discs. Well, I was. Have I you was. Been Yes, I was. I mean, that's, that was a great honor uh, to be on that. But uh, Dustin Hoffman was just on. And it's so interesting because, you know, I went to school with Dustin. Did you? Yeah. And that's in the book. He's, he's one of the few celebrities that I put a photograph of in the book. <gasps> um, because we both went to school. And I thought... That poor little guy, he's never going to make it, you know. <laughs> and of course, and, and you know, there's several of us were very tall and we were great looking and we thought, oh, we're going to just be the great stars of yesterday. And, you know, of course, I mean, I didn't go on to do any more acting after that, but uh, I, I was dancing a bit. But um, anyway, it was great grounding and, and it was nice to hear his choice of strange and interesting music. Uh, so I, I love all sorts of music. I love cheap music uh, with lots of tunes and I love um, ethnic music and, uh, and and classical music and opera so I like it all. Um, Dina's emailed back again and she says, uh, Hi Debbie and Cave, thank you for asking Cave my question about colour Debbie and thank you for your answer Cave, now I'm going to be really cheeky. It's all right. <laughs> Um, I'm attaching a photograph, oh I haven't got your photograph Dina, um, of my first log, log cabin quilt which I made earlier this year and I hadn't planned to make a quilt but it just sort mm. of fell into doing it to try putting colours and patterns together. You mm. may be able to see that I pulled in some of the colours which had some blue with them in the hope that it would work and generally I'm fairly satisfied with the result but it doesn't sing. Cave, mm. do you think that's because there's just too much blue or is it some other reason? We'll get your picture through in just a second Dina and we'll mm. ask Cave then. Um, this was, oh, we read Judy. We had an email from Karen.
previous to the show, who says, I'm a bit shy of using large patterned fabrics together. I'd like the confidence to be a bit more bold in my choice of colours and fabric prints. Mm. To, does Cave have some fabric colour print equation he uses in his construction choice? Does he, uh, does he link his choice of fabric colours and designs together for a project? And does he ever get it wrong? She says, give us amateurs some hope. <laughs> <laughs> so well, of course, I get lots it wrong. of questions there, but large yeah, yeah. patterns. No, large pattern. The, the main question is, can you use these large patterns? Uh, I I took my cue from wonderful early English uh, furnishing fabrics, which I love, big, overblown flowers and things like that. So uh, my 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 uh, fabrics are very big scale. Uh, and I've devised a lot of ways of doing that. All these books we just talked about, you know, like. Um, uh, you know, the simple shape, spectacular quilts, quilts in Sweden, quilts en Provence, uh, quilt romance. All of these books have large scale um, uh, quilts that are simple and strong. And, you know, like this is the uh, bordered diamond quilt that you're seeing a corner of there. And, th and that's uh, shown in my biography as well, a big page of it. So you're able to use a nice big print in an interesting way. And I'm constantly so, thinking of ways of, of making the big um, fabrics exciting. So if, you, if you've got a big print, do you need a large piece of fabric or would you cut into You actually print? don't. You know, sometimes uh, it depends on how you cut it, but if you cut into a, a densely colored piece of fabric, um, it doesn't matter what the scale is. It just becomes a nice red fabric. And a lot of the applique artists, particularly in Australia, where they do applique beautifully, they will cut up my prints beautifully uh, okay. and make it very, very um, exciting uh, by, you know, cutting a very interesting part of a rose or um, a leaf or whatever into their design. And so, you know, you just have to be a little sensitive how you cut and use what parts you're using. And just keep trying stuff and waste fabric. That's the main, <laughs> that's the main thing is, you know. You to, can't waste fabric. Well, I know, but you have to learn to just be a little bit extravagant, not terribly. This is Dina's quilt. She says it doesn't sing. Is there yeah. too much blue? I would say there's too much white, uh, too much paleness in there. Um, you know, I would say just try making another one where it's a little more medium toned. She's got very dark and very light. And so we have high contrast. And that makes it a little difficult unless you're really playing to that and doing a geometry that is exciting in black and white. Okay. But basically, so she's kind of killing the color. Uh, have okay. less contrast. Try, try something with lower contrast, more of a smolder. You see, like there, I'm working with blues with a touch of magenta, but I'm making a real uh, pool of glowing color. I don't have any white that's going to be like a, a glaring distraction. Okay, Dean, I hope that's helped. Um, yeah. Brigitta from Sleaford says, Hi Debbie and Cave, I've just ordered your latest book. This is so exciting since I have a number of Cave's books, including the quilts in Sweden, which reminds me of my home where I lived before coming to this country. Mm. I met Cave in Sleaford in Lincolnshire many years ago when knitting was the topic of talk and I came to the event with friends who were all really interested in knitting and we all belong to a knitting club. So many mm. thanks for sharing your inspiration mm. with us. And uh, Margaret from London, hi Margaret, says it's great to see you on the TV again after all these years. I remember your shows well. Around that time, my husband been work for a company in London called Designers Guild, so I knew of your fabulous mm -hmm. work and great talent. Your designs and blending of colours are fantastic, and I do hope we see you again in the future, and thank you for a very interesting and inspirational hour. Wonderful. You see, I learned a lot from Tricia Guild at Designers Guild, um, because she had great panache, another one of these fabulous, <laughs> famous women uh, who, who knew what she was doing. Um, so that was a wonderful experience, and I write about her a lot because she, she was a big influence in my life, and she let me really do wonderful, colorful furnishing fabrics for her. Do you know, Kev, I, I did say that uh, the hour goes very, very quickly. Yes. We've oh, only got a couple of minutes left wow. now on the show, so thank you for all yeah. of your emails. If you're ordering the, the Dreaming in Colour book, um, remember this is going to be a signed copy. Please could you check out if you're ordering on the website, because we are getting to a stage where we don't have very many books left. So check out or order 263648 right now. It's only £25. Um, what a fantastic Christmas present that would make. And, you know, we do have the other Kev Fussett books 
works online, the ones that we've shown you in the show. We don't have time to take you through again now. And we've got the fabric choices as well. We've got your designer rolls and we've got a couple of options of your fat quarter packs as well. So we have the inspiration. We have the products to get you started. And I've been so pleased to having this out of the man that's behind it all. So we've only mm. got about a minute left, Kate. Is there mm. anything that you'd like to say to our viewers before we go? Ooh. Um, I would say that... Uh, be courageous with color and use lots and lots of, uh, you know, for different colored fabrics, put them together, keep trying things. We work on a design wall. We put up a piece of flannel and we stick pieces of fabric to that. Uh, and so we can see an arrangement. And if something's not working, you just take it down very quickly and stick something else up there. So you can arrange your entire quilt before you get going. And with knitting, I just live dangerously row by row, just keep feeding in more color. If it's not really working, put it up on the wall to look at it, and then try to introduce something uh, on the next few rows that will make it work better. Well, I do hope you can pay us another visit very soon, <laughs> Cave. I've had a, a really lovely show. Thank well, you Well, it was fun. Much. It was fun talking about all of this. Good. And thank it you. And it's, it's been lovely to meet you. So I hope you enjoyed your time here with us at Create and Craft. Um, thank you for all of your input and for your emails as well. So thank you so much. We'll see thank you again you, soon. More from us here on Create and Craft just after the break. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. So coming up next here on Create and Craft is your Toyota Super Jeans sewing machine. Hunky Dory is your pick of the week coming up at 5 o'clock this afternoon. And then we're getting Britain digitally crafting at 6 o'clock this evening. want to make your presents and gifts look like they've been professionally wrapped, then you need to go for the fantastic 100-piece Magic Bow Set. They are simple and easy to use. Just hold the centre ribbons like so and gently pull the ends together and watch the magic as a perfect bow is created time and time again. No